use of energy in the world is increasing and that is causing uh, a lot more fossil fuels such as coal and gas to be used to produce energy. Of course this implies the pollution, implies greenhouse gas emissions that strongly affect and negatively affect uh, the climate change which is one of the main plagues of modern society. There's a lot that we can do in order to reduce that, in order to mitigate that and uh, for example we can use cleaner technologies or other uh, more renewable technologies like wind and uh, photovoltaics uh, and perhaps in the future others such as tidal and wave power. Policy makers can in fact uh, uh, better plan the use of energy, the production of energy by fostering the use of renewable energy sources and energy efficiency. People want to reduce greenhouse gases but there's also a limit to how much people are prepared to spend in order to do that. How do you balance those various contradictions? And that's where e-policy comes in. E-policy is a European project funded under the FP7 programme. It has a contribution of the European community of 2.6 million for a total cost of 3.2 million. And it involves nine partners and it started in late 2011. E-policy is a tool that has the potential to provide uh, access to very complicated information. Trying to figure out what is the, uh, the opinion of the, uh, the public towards the, uh, the energy policies. So our goal is to establish a set of uh, web-based sources using e-participation tools and from these uh, web-based sources to try to uh, crawl for the, the posts of the public and try to infer what is uh, their opinion concerning different alternatives uh, related to energy policies. So one further aspect we are looking at at the policy project is how the different energy policy actually affect the population of the Emilia-Romagna region. And what we then did is actually looking whether particular groups such as different age groups or different educational groups react differently so we get a better understanding of how people actually perceive photovoltaic, but also how policies can be des best designed to help them to do photovoltaic. And this is where uh, optimization technology comes in, because here we want to make decisions that are optimal with respect to the distributions of the funds to the bids. So in particular, we want to fund the bids that are good, so that produce a relatively large amount of power given the amount of money spent on it, and on the other hand, we don't want to fund the bids that ask for a lot of money and install a relatively small amount of power. One of the components of the policy project uh, is a global optimizer that basically takes into account uh, some target function that the policy maker wants to um, optimize, to maximize or minimize. For example, he wants to maximize energy. And then uh, he can post additional constraints uh, on the energy sources uh, and uh, constraints on the um, budget, for example. And then he compute uh, one plan. And the plan um, basically can be compared with other plans, uh, so alternative scenarios in the future. It has uh, impact on the environments here in the, in the interface. And uh, it can be compared concerning cost, energy, and uh, also many, um, all the um, environmental uh, indicators. The general goal that we have to provide an interface that can be used not only to, uh, for um, uh, policy makers to uh, observe these uh, trends on the opinions, but also to use this information uh, to fit in the models that search for the optimal plans and uh, taking also into account this uh, general uh, opinion of the public. The policy has the main aim of uh, providing uh, policy makers um, with a decision support system that uh, enables them to compare scenarios, alternative scenarios, and uh, to uh, assess their impact on the environment, the society and economy. Uh, so basically the policy is based on decision support uh, uh, techniques and optimization techniques uh, to enable policy makers to assess all the phases of the uh, policy making life cycle. E-policy actually has great potential uh, to be transferred to other areas as well, other areas of, of, of energy policy and indeed other areas of policy in general.